Is the sweat re herself skip go kart man? The world is mine. You did. We on this motherfucker. Just leave it. Sure. And, um, in the NC, you feel me? Niggas moved to the um city, GA, you feel me? Nigga really rep drive, C flat drive and shit. Feel me? Nigga really grew up, got down, you feel me? On some life. Only thing nigga had to do back then was just like play sports, or slap box and shit. Like, you grew up really running around, just doing crazy shit. On rocks and they cars, all type of crazy shit. Bro. Wow. Everything was really good. Everything really like we had to make do what we had going on. Like we ain't had like expensive shoes and shit, but we had like trampoline, computers, motherfucking. We had a whole bunch of other shit though. And video games and shit. Like so it really was great. I was in junior choir when I was a jit church choir, junior choir. Yeah, and come from like shit like that. What type of running the L? All type of shit, rap shit, old R&B motherfucking. Um, look at how music, all type of shit. You feel me? All type of different shit, for real, for real. Aretha Franklin, it was all, all old shit, old people shit. Auntie music, like Aretha Franklin got the Alicia Keys, motherfucking Michael Jackson, motherfucking um, man, all that old shit, man. Lil James Brown, Lil Isley brother, all type of old auntie type, grandma type music. You feel me? I got coke, no crack. Nah, hell nah, not really. That shit was just simple. Niggas, we just know how to rap. I always been rapping. Shit like that, we always been rapping. Beating on the table, making rap and shit. That shit just came with that shit was just like simple shit. Like, school, uh, school, nigga, I was got down. School, I wasn't trying to listen. I don't got down. I wasn't trying to listen at all. Doing whatever I wanted to do, for real, for real. That shit was kind of fun, though. Like, on some shit, I wish I could go back and do that shit different. She was kind of fun, but I wasn't listening to shit. Like, I was on bullshit in school. I was just out there running around, trying to skip, go to lunch, get sugar cookies and shit. Go to air lunch, I'm trying to hit air lunch, get sugar cookies, fuck class. I haven't go to the bathroom. I'm in lunch, soon I go, gotta go to the bathroom. I'm in the lunch room, my guy, got to pop through. I'm in first, second, and third lunch. I'm in all them motherfuckers getting in trouble, fuck it, my guy. Hell yeah, I got you spending hella time. I got you spending for selling that motherfucker. I got you spending for fighting that motherfucker. I got you spending for goddamn. Nigga had, one nigga had set, set, set a paper towel on fire in the classroom. He set a paper towel on fire in the classroom. Not in the classroom with the cafeteria. Nigga set a paper towel on fire. Like, I was trying to be funny shit. They smelling shit. Like, oh, he come from over there. I got you spending for that shit. I ain't do nothing. I got you spending them. Nigga, I was getting suspended, bro. Oh, God. Yeah, I yeah, I was freestyling in there all the time. I was in there rapping and shit. They used to call me Soda Man in school. They were my, they were me like they call me Soda Man. They be like Soda Man rap. The nigga wasn't taking that shit serious. Nigga was playing around with that shit. That shit went. Shit, nigga was just bullshit. Nigga was just freestyling like that shit. Just come with it. Talk like you gonna rap, slap box, play football, play basketball, jump on trampoline. Like your nigga ain't really. That all you gonna do in the hood? That's all you gonna do? Big shit. Like, that's all you gonna do. And I just tell the young nigga, man, don't be hanging out with dumb ass niggas. Stay out of trouble. Don't be hanging with dumb ass niggas. You find what you gonna do. And just got them. You feel me? Do what you gonna do. Wake up, try to get some money. And got down. Um, stay away from me, dumb ass nigga, bro. That's what I tell the young nigga. In high school, I dropped a song for the quarterback. It was called Keith Mack. I dropped the song for the quarterback. So that shit was going through all the high school. I dropped the song, that shit was flowing through all the high schools. You feel me? That shit was going crazy in high school, like type shit. That shit was going crazy. Nah, that shit was really weak as fuck. It was just got down. You feel me? Some just young nigga shit. That shit really was weak. <laughs> that was a real shit. That shit was weak. It's just some young nigga shit though. Like, wasn't nobody in school dropping. It was some niggas before me that was doing it. But I'm talking about at my time, wasn't nobody dropping for real, for real. Like, them niggas was already graduating and shit. Like, my time, nigga wasn't dropping. I was like the only one, only rap nigga. You feel what I'm saying? Nigga one didn't know how to like put a song on YouTube, like upload it, upload the picture, put a song. Like, I recorded that bitch on my MP3 player. He record, put it, put the shit beside the speaker, play the beat. He record, upload it on the, out the computer, out the USB, onto YouTube, put me any type of picture. 
to me, or I, I really put the quarterback on this particular song. Boom, that motherfucker got like thousands on YouTube. Out of school, heard that shit. I was like, school known for like rapping fully then. Man, that nigga be rapping for real, for real. How did nigga know how to upload that shit and put it on YouTube? I don't know, I guess them niggas ain't use computer apps good. I really use computer apps when I was in high school and shit, so I knew how to work a computer. I knew how to take that shit, find it in my, go to my MP3, find, go to my recordings, take this song from my record, up and up, upload it on Microsoft Video. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I knew how to work a computer. I was in computer apps. I don't think these niggas knew how to work a computer, so they were late. Nah. Nah, hell nah, I ain't even, I wasn't even dropping. I was chilling. And then I would drop something here and there, like on YouTube. It's not like, I was chilling. Like, I really didn't give a fuck. I wasn't pushing it or nothing. I was just like, sometimes I was just on my play for shit. Like, I'm about to drop some shit. Like, on some play, like, just so I can hear it. Just because I know it's on YouTube. I just wanted to see some shit on YouTube myself. Like, oh, I'm on YouTube. But I wasn't like sharing and then trying to get people to be like, oh, he a rapper. Your favorite vibe, can't get enough of it. It took a while for that. But like, I really always been popular. Like, this nigga. Um, Yachty used to hit me up like 2014. I used to talk to Yachty and shit. This back when they like in Connor was like big bro to niggas. You feel what I'm saying? Like me, I used to talk all then like you feel me? Boom. Like I always been popular, so I really don't. I can't. It's just that when I I dropped one time, that shit went up like 500,000. And then when that shit went up 500,000, like 400,000, I dropped. That's when I, it got serious. Oh, I been new hella nigga, hella nigga knew me. Like, you know what I'm saying? But Face goes Perk with the first nigga that really like fuck with me for real, for real. I don't know if a lot of people know this story, but I used to got down rep Raider Clan and got down at the Raider Clan that was B and B. I used to rock with Perk. Perk, my dog, man. I used to be all Perk used to put me in all the chats and shit. Like I rock with Perk. Me and Uno actually was mad at each other because I was on Perk side. I talk shit to Uno and them. Like I talk shit. That how them nigga Ben knew me. Like Cardi and Uno and them. Like when they did that, when that Perk shit happened. I I'll talk shit to them boy. You know what I'm saying? My partners later like, on though. But I was talking shit to them boy car. Perk really like brought me into this shit. He was the first nigga that like, you feel me? Brought me into this shit like, oh yeah, I fought you. And I ain't even had no songs out. I ain't even had no songs out for real, for real. Like as trying to be a rapper. Like I had that high school shit, but we just got deleted. I ain't had nothing out. It was just I was like niggas knowing me from Twitter from just being crazy and just talking shit and like you feel me? When it's like some old shit, it's like some 2014, 15 shit. Like I still like a baby, like 18, like 17, 18. I was already known. The rap just was like it was just in there. ATL Smoot, we from the home, we from the same hometown. Like he was already doing like his which boom 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 boom. And Hans like, bro, I gotta push up on you and record you, bro. Like we gotta do something. We gotta do a tape together, like bro, you too hard, bro. And I really went in serious rapper. And then me and him dropped, and then niggas just went up like two hundred thousand, three hundred thousand. And then everybody saying our name and shit like that. Like Hans should really thank me and like really play a big role in his career and a lot of other people's career too. And ain't just him, a bunch of other people too. You nigga know. Just all me, period. Like, cause I just got that. Like, it's just, it just all me. It just came in with it. Niggas already knowing me, not even knowing my music. They just knew who I was. You know what I'm saying? I was rocking with Space Ghost Perk for a little second. Man, shout out Perk, man. I don't give a fuck what I talking about, man. It is what it is, man. These niggas know Perk really like, yeah. Godfather, man. Shout out Perk, man. I seen all them niggas blow up. All them niggas know me. Do I Kane? All them niggas. All them niggas know me. Oh God, I seen all them niggas blow up. It ain't not too many of these niggas that ain't came from my umbrella. That just real facts. These niggas hit me up. This how I meet these niggas. Cause they hit me up and shit. Cause I'm that nigga. Or I might say something crazy to them. And they be like, bro, I be playing your shit all the time, bro. I just be wanting to see. Sometimes I might hear the nigga like, we gotta get one. And then he be like, bro, that's crazy. Cause I be playing your shit all the time. Like uh, K Suave. I hit K Suave up like, bro, let me get one. And he like, oh, the feature. I'm like, nigga, you got me fucked up. And then he say, hold on, is this you? Then he sent me a screenshot of my song. I'm like, duh. He's like, bro, I fuck with you, bro. I listen to your shit all the time. Like, these niggas just already be knowing me. Niggas be making so many accounts of me that don't be my account. And I be low key with this shit, bro. So, nigga, goddamn, you feel what I'm saying? I be low key. I don't be posting and shit. And I, I just be living. You feel what I'm saying? I just be living. I don't be posting, man. This is enough on my neck right here. This this a three total on my neck. This a three. Then I got a five on my wrist. And you feel me? And I'm chilling. Burberry my cologne. I'm chilling. You feel what I'm saying? 
I'm looking like, damn, I'm the chosen one because all these niggas that I came through me. I'm like, I know I'm the chosen one. So Fago, little nigga, been on him since he was a little nigga. Uh, his big, one of his biggest songs back then, he talking about loose school and all that. He got that from me. Like, I've been on these niggas since they were little niggas. They were looking up to me. Like, that's how I know I'm that nigga. That's how I know. You feel me? So I, every time they blow up, I be like, yeah, that's another one. They came through my umbrella. Kept that nigga shielded from the water, the rain. So I'm straight. I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm chilling. Like, I'm happy. Like I said, we doing the same thing. We doing the same shit. Niggas are having deals and shit. We having the same type motion, man. I'm fucking they same hoes. I'm goddamn, you feel me? You still picking on me. You feel me? It's, it's, we honestly, everything, everything. I ain't tripping. I don't want to be no groupie. I don't need to be hanging around. Hanging around. Oh, that's not me. The niggas be like, oh, go. Fell off. He out of the loop. Now nah, I'm in the loop. All these niggas know me. All these niggas tap in. I talk to these niggas all the time. Every last one of them. Uno, you boy Icy, um, Ron So Cold, TK, Tony Snow, um, Nolan B. Rowling. All these niggas, my dog. Uh, Light Fortunato. All these niggas know me. They ain't nothing. Warhols. Ain't no nigga that rapping that don't know me. Ain't no nigga that rap can't say I ain't influencing. It's just, yeah, a lot of niggas came under my wing. Like, you feel me? I can list name a whole bunch. Fago. All these niggas came. It's a whole bunch, that's why all these niggas know me, bro. I talk to all these niggas every day, every other day. These niggas hit me up, they tap in, cause they know, like, ain't too many niggas that rap that ain't, I ain't influenced. It ain't too many niggas rap that I ain't even influenced, though. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Ain't too many, I ain't influenced. And these niggas know that, that's why these niggas tap, chime in, tap in, cause these niggas know this shit, it's all facts, bro. So many niggas, Summers, the nigga, little nigga Summers, that was my little nigga. He used to make beats for me. He just hit me up every day. They was my little nigga, Yen 5K, Lil Autumn, all these niggas. It's a whole bunch of these niggas, bro. These niggas came from my, under my wing for real talk. And little Duarte Kane. Why you think he shot me out so much? That was a little bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's all. Like, I just been on some real life popular shit the whole time. For real, for real. Like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's why niggas be talking about, oh, go fell off and then he had the loot. Nah, I ain't at the loot, bro. All these niggas, all these niggas who favorite rapper, they, I'm their favorite rapper. All these niggas they looking up to, you feel me? These niggas tap, still tapped in with me. All these niggas, Warhols, I tried to all these niggas. All these niggas hit me up, like, bro, you go crazy, like, you feel me? What you been on, go? I don't gotta do all this. Yeah, I hang with females. I don't hang with these niggas, bro. I don't hang with these rap niggas. I hang with females. This is why I feel like I gotta stay away, cause these niggas gay, bro. Hanging out with these niggas playing 2K and shit all day, like, but I can't, I can't associate with that. Like, they want to take a picture with nigga, like, see a nigga want to take a picture and shit, like, nah, bro, I'd rather not be around none of this. Like, you feel what I'm saying? These niggas just too buddy buddy, too friendly, bro. I ain't with that friendly shit. These niggas too buddy buddy, bro. I keep this shit around the squad. 2016, 2016, that's when I was like, alright, I'm about to go down and do my own little thing, like, I'm about to just go do what I want to do with this shit, like, 2016, that's when I became Skip Card, Go Card, that's when I made my name Skip Go Card, and I was like, alright, I'm about to go down, you feel me? I'm about to get this a real run. My big dog at the time, his name Skip Marley, man, we Rude Boy, we had a little shit called Rude Boy, man, his name Skip Marley, so I was Skip, and I was Go Card, cause I was just like, I'm gonna go with this shit, like, that yeah, on hard. I was really supposed to be in Skip on hard, but I like, people might not understand it, so I just went to skip, skip go kart. Like, I'm sure, like, it's just car type shit. Like, I'm gonna throw my pants in the building while I was uh, me and Uno used to be beefing with each other and shit. Cause I was rocking with Space Go Perk. So then got down. Uno came to a studio session. Then I was it with a mutual partner of mine. Cause him and Uno was gonna do a song. So he like, yeah, Uno about to pull up. Y'all chill, you feel me? I know y'all beefing and shit, but y'all chill out. So Uno pull up and shit. But we ain't on good terms and shit. We don't even like rock with each other. Then I run into him again like a month later in LA. I see him. I'm like, bro, I'm drunk as hell. He start laughing. He like, you drunk? He dat me up. And then I ain't talk to him no more. And then he hit me up one day like, but that black boy, white boy, hard. And I was like, hell yeah. And I was like, that track, I told him about one of his songs. I was like, bro, you don't even know that Let It Go got me through it. Then he was like, bro, that crank is stupid. Let me get on it. And since then, it was my boy. Uh, that that transition was crazy because I was just so used to being a wild boy, so that was just new to me. Shit, for real, got down, just got down. When I started getting love all this shit and getting free clothes and shit, go you want Wait, I'm like, oh yeah, that's fine. Gotta take this. I might have an alligator.
Yeah, you gotta just drop. And if it don't work, you feel me? You might gotta you might gotta do something else. But you gotta drop. You just gotta drop that shit. Cause it wasn't working for me for a little second. But I kept dropping and that shit just caught fire. So it depends on who you is for real. For real. Like, cause if you a bitch ass nigga and you rapping about gangsta shit, you gotta have talent. But if you um you could be a bummy ass nigga with all the talent. You could be a nigga with no swag, but it got but got all the all the everything. Get that shit go crazy. It just depends on who you is. Nah, that shit, that shit wild, bro. I fuck with it, though. Like, I fuck with everything this shit you got going on. All the new artists and shit. I don't rock with some of the shit they talking about, but I fuck with it. Like, I'm, I'm glad. I just like to see niggas got down coming up and shit. I don't like that a lot of that shit, but I like to see it. Having too many soldiers, but we ready. That was a later on mixtape, but it was my first one because I deleted all my old songs and I started fresh. In 2019, I started fresh. That was the first one. I started fresh. I kind of um, missed BTU. I dropped that shit. Man. I just had to like rebirth that shit and kick some new flavor, kick some new swag. But I changed up the swag. Everybody changed up the swag. A little bit it had because I always freestyle still, but like then, I wasn't really like rapping like this. Now I'm I be trying to do like two songs a day, three songs a day. It just depends. I be burning out sometimes. I be burning out. I ain't gonna count. I be locked in for a little minute. And it might burn out. I need to get back, bro. I always gotta come back. I like Dolo too, but got a little shoddy with me. That's always the best. Got a little shoddy with me. Bye, Dolo. Chill. It don't matter. Like, you feel me? I just really don't like a whole bunch of niggas in there. I got my own producer club. That All Star Production. My own little producer club, my nigga, um, Fireman, Glow Neil, a whole bunch of them niggas in there, Carino, it's a whole bunch of niggas with me, with me up beats and shit, like, I got my own little club production, so I just use my niggas for real. And I done met too, like, Peel, it's a whole bunch of people I done met, and I just, you feel me, I rock with them, trying to, I, I jump on their beat. I don't be trying to work with who everybody else work with, I be trying to work with, like, you know, like, I, shit. I can tell the people who's gonna make the beats, like, how I want to make and shit, how I want the sound to be. How you just you gotta be on some other type shit, man. I don't want shit to sound like everybody else shit. You gotta be on some other type shit. I fuck with anything that's just different. Anything that just got like a little tweak sound to it, not the normal sound. I fuck with anything that just don't got the normal sound. I got a whole bunch of songs that got leaked too. I got a song with Side Baby. I got a song with uh, Key Glock. I got a couple songs that got leaked too. Like I got a song with Lancey Fo. Really like the Uno song, like one of my biggest songs. The most one, like I prize a lot. The Side Baby song, the Side Baby song. It got leaked on YouTube and shit. So that song, that song got leaked on YouTube. And my boy Ian Connor, it's been so many people. Dex, Ian Connor, Cardi. It's been hella people that got down and fuck with that shit. They send me videos playing my music and shit. Um, 808 Mafia niggas, them niggas too. Tarantino, 808. It's been hella niggas, like, you feel me? Reached out, send me a video or something playing my song and shit. Like, my boy Duot Kane, one. Um, what's my boy name? Earl Sweatshirt. Shout out Earl Sweatshirt too. Me too. I said that type of shit don't mean nothing though. You can know me. It like it's hella people that know. Um, for example, it's hella motherfuckers that know. Goddamn, I don't want to say the wrong nigga name though. But I'm just gonna use like it's hella niggas that know Steve Harvey. But not everybody got Steve Harvey money that he know. So that shit don't mean nothing. You gotta get that shit by yourself. Either way it go. If you like, you just gotta work on the shit, bro. You gotta just work on what you wanna work on. You gotta come up with your shit and just gotta stick with it. I be Oh shit, they, that's like going to jail and shit. Cause that shit just take up time. They really like the biggest mistake, and that's what I learned. Like, um, crazy time, like, deep. Sometimes I be like, fuck that shit, cause that shit. But then I grew out of that. Now I just be on my own type time, now, so it don't even matter. And once you get on your own type time, then this shit gonna matter. I was in LA, back at Bentley. When that boy Cardi, when Cardi hit me up. I'm gonna say that was one of like that was cool. That was some cool shit. Cause I wasn't expecting that. Cardi say, um, you tell go walk to get me on the phone and shit. So we like on the freeway, but we on the call. I'm talking him through another phone. So yeah, he basically was like, that shit hard. My favorite. His exact word was, you my favorite rapper right now. I play that shit all the time. I don't know exactly what song he's talking about, but he said I play that shit all the time. And Ian Connor hit me up on Twitter too. Ian Connor hit me up on Twitter. And he told me he gonna shoot the video for the Rude Boy get ready. 
and I hit him back and like we go. He sent back like the lightning bolts or some shit. Like, oh yeah, them free, them some cool type shit. There's a whole bunch of shit. Look, the uh, Kanye West producer, Luis um, Brodinski, he used to produce for uh, Kanye. I didn't even know who the fuck he was. He seen me in New York, he came up to me, he like, go for I love your music. It's been a whole bunch of cool shit, bro. Like, you feel what I'm saying? It be shit like that. Not really, that shit is fun. I'm really trying to get into the clothes and shit. Like, that music shit, just like, it's cool. I ain't feel me? I ain't tripping off that. Renaissance man, I'm trying to do all that, I'm trying to have my own production companies and shit like that. I'm on some shit like that. On my own liquor. Like, I want a whole bunch of shit like that. That's what I'm really trying to get into. Like, work and music, because the music is just a good percent of it. It's like 25%. Now I'm trying to use my name to do more shit. I want all the businesses. Food brands, I want clothes, podcast, I want basketball. Team. I want everything. Like, I want everything. Cause you just gotta lock in with yourself. Like you gotta just get some motivation. And just like just use that motivation. And just lock in. Channel whatever going on to whatever it is. That's all. That's all it is to it. In the night, come out free. I pull up and taste tea. Huh. Richmond, Virginia, and, and New York. Richmond and New York, I fought with them. Cause New York is bad, and it's like, it remind me of like the Spider-Man shit. Make shit cool to say it. Then Richmond, like, Richmond just, like, I get love out of Richmond, so I love Richmond. I pull up, I get love, like, so I love Richmond. And then it's probably my favorite spot for real. I'm trying to go like Japan and shit like that over there. Some shit I ain't, some third world. Some shit I never thought I was gonna see for real people. Some Discovery Channel type shit, like, I wanna see some crazy shit. Like, that's the type of place I want to go. Shit, got down, watch a movie and TV and shit. Got down, chill, talk to female, talk to my lady, talk to my lady and shit. Chill. Uh, she gotta be real bad bitch. That means like she got her own shit, uh, having her own motion. Good job. Ain't trying to be insta thigh. Got down. Real bad bitch shit like petite, small body, trim, pretty teeth, pretty feet. That like, real bad shit. Like she got it on her own shit. She don't need no nigga. That's, that, that's what I'm into. I don't condone no thigh act. See, if a nigga hit you up and say whatever you gotta say, you don't got a heart and open everything. That's some thigh act. Because real bad bitches already know what's going on, so they don't gotta. Reply to and they know what's going on. A bitch that like, don't know what's going on, she gotta reply to everything. She gotta let these niggas be insurance. Bad bitch don't need no real insurance. She already know what's going on. But she probably ain't gonna open that shit. She gonna leave her ass sitting in the crazy. When I hit it from the back, macaroni. I want some real shit. If I had to be on, I want to be on WWF. I want some real shit. I want shit. Goddamn, go crazy on that motherfucker. Come out to one of my songs, slap a nigga out. Goddamn, all that. I want to be on WWF. If I had to be on like some shit like that, you said like that. That's what I want to goddamn. My wrestling name be Mr. Pin You Down. Oh God. That'd be my wrestling name. The Ray Mysterio, RVD, Stone Cold, Shawn Michaels, Triple H. The Rock looks straight a little bit. Oh yeah, Randy Orton. John Cena with my, my dog. How I forget about him? John Cena with my dog. Undertaker. Undertaker, my nigga. Oh, God. Jeff Hardy. I used to fuck with Chris Brand Chris Ben Y too. Chris Jericho. Edge with my boy too. And they boy on Fox News. Hell yeah. Real deal. Oh god, I still use one of the moves to beat a nigga ass. Oh god. Yeah, I cook I cook for my female. I cook for the female. That what I cook for. But um uh, that breakfast. I do breakfast and shit like that. I'm a more breakfast type nigga. Like I like waffles and pancakes and eggs and cheese and bacon and grits and shit like that. Like I like breakfast and shit. I'm breakfast. I'm a breakfast type nigga. She was as for talent. Oh, nah, hell yeah, nah. I'm just that nigga. Just, you feel me? Figure out what you figure out. I'm that nigga at the end of the day. Like, that's all I'm gonna fact to you. Favorite rapper, favorite rapper. For real, for real. Like, real deal popular. Like, don't let fuck that Instagram shit. Like, your favorite rapper plays my song. Your favorite rapper, keep, probably in my DM, tell me I'm hard. Like, real fact. So, fuck all that Instagram shit, man. You know, Instagram world, man. Yeah, man. Real life popular about to drop, man. I'm about to drop real life popular because that was going on. I'm real life popular with this shit. Like, telling you. So, I'm about to drop Real life popular, that gonna come out in a couple days, weeks, top, you feel what I'm saying? So nigga can go shop that, get with it. Yeah, real life popular. The only way nigga gotta go tap in with it. She really going crazy. Like really one of my best projects for real, for real. I executive produced it, all the beats. Um I got uh that all-star production. You my producer. Got all the skits done, all the tags done myself, executive produced by me, man. That shit hard. Like put some time into this. 
Like it really took me a, a month to make this. I did like 25 songs and I picked out 15. It took me like a month though, you feel me? I'm really feeling it. I locked in every day. I'm making like about four or five songs a day type shit. Like yeah, so that what niggas have to tap in with. It's on the way. I just fucked this bitch. That's a you know, I understand, like, at the end of the day, I love all my fans genuinely. Like, at the end of the day, if you rock with me, I just appreciate you for rocking with me. Like, that's how I really just appreciate you and love. Man, it's your boy Skip Go Kart. I'm on the world of mine. Yo, y'all tap in. LP on the way. Get ready. Dig. World of mine. <laughs> for real. Yeah. No, I'm not impressed. I catch a check. In the little Elvis. Big kind of looks like familiar. I'm on that P motherfucker. I feel it.